I've been using the iPhone 16 Pro Max for a week plus right now and I think it is pretty amazing. But to the general public, is this the best iPhone to get right now or is there another better option basically? Yes, there is, I think. We'll find out. People in Malaysia are mainly getting the 16 Pro Max, the Pros since two years ago, since the 14 series. They're getting this guy right here mainly because of, well, the better screen, the better battery, the Pro name. There is the base on the iPhone, the base normal as FPT John Prosser would mention, the poor people iPhone. <laughs> it's been subpar. People don't want it because it's, it's got no pizzazz. All the cool features come to the pros. But this year, this year, the gap has narrowed a little bit. So I guess this video is mainly going to be about how the baseline iPhone 16 is probably the best iPhone to get. Yeah. So a couple of my old tech, raised some funds, and now I managed to trade in a couple of devices to get this guy right here, test it out, because a lot of people are saying this is the iPhone to get. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, shall I just do a front-facing unboxing? Actually, why not? Let's, let's, let's spice some things up in this channel, shall we? A front-facing uh, unboxing. Hmm. All right, here you go. By the way, I am recording this using the M4 iPad Pro. Camera is a bit, mm, I mean, it's better than the Pixel. Okay, some lighting, but still, HD 1080p 60 frames per second. I guess it's okay. But hopefully, the mic's good. Well, it's kind of studio mic, so let's let's see. Turning this guy right here. I'm just gonna say it, uh, the unboxing experience for the 16 and 16 Pro will be literally the same. So. Oh, okay. And it. Hmm. Oh. Oh. The 16 looks darker and much more. How do I put it? It's rougher. If that makes any sense. Like the. Texture looks a bit more. I'm not sure if this will appear on camera. So this is the 16 Pro, and this is oh, here fall. This is this 16, the normal 16. I'm not sure it appears on the screen. It is slightly darker, lighter, brighter. I'll put I'll put some close-ups, uh, like a B-roll footage. This is how it looks. But if you like look really closely, like the texture feels different. It looks different. Like there's something different about the texture of the 16 compared to this. Huh. Interesting. So I'll put this aside. Let's take this guy out. Peel it off for you guys. Yeah. Beautiful. Didn't buy a case, did not buy a screen protector, because this is just gonna be my footage, B-roll footage phone. Yeah, so I had the 15 Pro Max. Oh, it's so light, wow. Yeah, this thing is heavy and it's so light. And also, if you really notice, uh, you can't really, okay. When I open, when I turn the phone on, maybe you'll notice. It's obviously 6.1 inches, small, it's easy to carry around. Obviously, it's, it's got the new camera button. Still just as hard <laughs> to take, but it looks nicer, like this this uh, camera cutout. It, look, it looks nicer to the eye. Like, you know, this is three, dude, I mean, like it's the same stuff. This guy, at least it's kind of different, but it looks kind of nice. Look at that. So yes, I thought I was going to be dual driving with the 15 pro max but that guy is a little bit too big and the 15 pro max it has a little bit of an overheating problem since i bought it and apparently it's not a, i mean it's a common thing and i don't like it don't like it so i decided to trade that in for this guy whether or not it's dumb or not well 
I'm about to find out. So even the edges, it's a bit different. This one's titanium, brushed. This one's aluminium. Through this camera, it doesn't look like much difference. But uh, yeah, turn this guy on, shall we? Another thing that you're, the main thing that you're giving up on this guy, well, two things. When you're coming from a pro to the 16 is a 60 hertz display. Let's. <laughs> oh, I noticed. Oh, what? What? Ooh. So this is 60. I mean, I can't really show the difference. So this is the scrolling on the 120 hertz screen. This is on. It probably won't appear different through this, but. Here is just it's so it's jarring. It really is jarring. Okay, I'm just gonna set this up and we'll be right back. Things still setting up. Uh, while this continues to set up, I will just show you what's in the box. Well, oh god, the autofocus. Okay, there you go. Same thing. <laughs> like, what's different? This cable, the pin, and then the new pill shape. Uh, documents, documents, papers, no stickers, of course, so saving the environment. Mm. Wow, the 60 frames per second, it, uh, 60 frames, the 60 hertz is, uh, it's very noticeable. Uh, going back to 60 is, uh, ugh. so, I'm not sure if you can notice, this is, difference between 120 and a 60 hertz display yay <laughs> and another thing to notice is hold on let me uh everything's in dark mode hold on let me just switch it to light mode just to show you sure the bezels are yes it's a lot thicker it reminds me of the pixel 8a uh bezel but at least it's uniform in this one <laughs> notice the bezel mm. at least it's uniform so there's that so first impressions uh not not, not really good <laughs> for now for now for now i'm like a little bit bummed out at the screen's resolution but other than that there's a lot going on to this. i mean the main reason and this guy is the reason why i got this as a secondary device I take a lot of pictures, take a lot of videos, YouTube. I want something that is mobile, easy to carry around, easy to transfer files, and uh, yeah. I was gonna use the 16, uh, the 15 Pro Max, but you know what? This, ooh. yeah, this looks great, fantastic. Camera doesn't have the 120 like uh, the 15 sorry 16 pro max so this one goes up to 120 as you can see on the top over here this guy maxes out at 4k 60 so that's one thing to note so far it's pretty much similar to the 15 pro max other than the fact that the uh other than the fact that it's a 60 inch screen the rest is pretty much the same record video and yeah it, maxes out at 60 frames per second which is fine which is completely fine so if i really want to get this 120 frames per second i could use this guy right here uh, my main daily driver and then if i need and for the other footages i can use this guy right here so if you have a 15 pro or any of the previous pros why should you downgrade to this guy right here okay i've had a couple of hours of using this uh iphone it is interesting i like the size okay this is just my first like couple of hours first impressions to a sense and as a secondary device i really like it but there are a couple of things that are missing in this iphone that i just yeah it's just not for me so they're trying to distinguish 16 with the pro and um 
fair enough, they cut off a few things. But I honestly feel like they could have at least kept uh, the 120 hertz or even at least a 90 hertz display. display. The same, they could have kept a 90 hertz display and it would have worked just fine. And yeah, so about the battery life, well, I, what, I turned this on when? <laughs> around 4, maybe, I think I opened this around 4 or 5 p.m. Three hours has gone by and it went down how much? Let's, so, screen time of 1 hour and 43 minutes. It started off at 75%-ish. It started around 75%, it currently at 46%. I, I will make a much more in-depth video uh, for the iPhone 16 Pro and also the 16, and also like a huge video comparing both of my experiences uh, regarding my, which is which one is perfect for me. Honestly, at this very moment, I personally think it's going to be the 16 Pro Max because it it just it's just amazing differences that i noticed well since it's a 60 hertz display it doesn't have an ltpo display no always on display there's no always on so yeah that's that's a bummer i mean i, I won't say that's like a deal breaker but uh yeah it would be nice to have an always on display but fair enough doesn't have one saves battery life decent honestly in the market at the moment that i a phone that I can compare this particular iPhone 16 with is the Pixel 8a, not the 9, the Pixel 8a. I mean, just look at this. The thickness of the bezels, it's just, it's basically the same. <laughs> it's almost the same. Slightly bigger, but I think the screen size is, is it should be the same. Uh, this one has a much more equal uh, symmetry. This one has a chin. But here's the thing, the price difference. The Pixel 8a that I've been using for a couple months has a 120 hertz display. So this guy has a 120 hertz display. This guy, 60. So uh, the price difference, well, this one you can get from 1.8 to 2.5K. This one starts at 3.9. So yeah. <clears throat> But yes, obviously the software side of this while well, you're using pure Google, but uh, I mean, even I can see the comparison from the pictures is just the color. My God, wait, hold on. Maybe I should increase the brightness on this guy. It's already up. Yep. I mean, this one has more. I mean, if you can see through the video, this one's much more cooler. This one's much more warmer. And honestly, this one looks much more closer to what I'm seeing in real life than this. So this is the iPhone 16. If you bought one, what do you think? Which is the best color to get? So yeah, do leave a like, a comment down below, and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next video. Peace.